Crit and Dynamic, what? I could have sworn I chose eight! <laughs> General experience when you're playing Prodigy. What's going on my fellow wizards and witches? One Doctor Genius and in this video what I'm doing is I'm gonna be doing your general experience when you're playing Prodigy. Like, this is gonna be basically a compilation of what happens when you try playing Prodigy. Let's get straight to it. Alright, so over here you have Prodigy, you click the login button, you try logging in, and then what you do is you accidentally click the backslash button and click enter, and you're like, what? Why? And then you look over here like, what's going on? And then you realize, oh, right, you just selected your username ID and you're like, okay, now I'm gonna log in. Logging in, you typed in your password, or it's auto-saved, and you're like, okay, and then click the enter button and you're like what why is it wrong you look at it and then you realize oh oh okay i hit the wrong key while logging in okay let's lo okay now i forgot to put in the password this is amazing and then you log in and you're like where do i want to play okay i'm playing at home but like accidentally click school and you're like okay i'll have to re-log in okay let's try that once again right so you click home and then you're like okay let's play english or like let's play prodigy and then you accidentally click on one and then it starts loading and you're like which one did it do because like it shows the click button when you click on any of them but you're like anyways we've gone into english let's go to more worlds and click animalia we've gone to english we've gone to math and then it's like okay we've gone to prodigy math game you guys can see it's loading and then you're like and then we reach on this page over here right and you're like and you're like, no, 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 I'm not clicking any of this. We must go to Moral World and go to Animalia. And when you try to connect, two things happen. You either connect in or it says, this world is full, please choose another one. So you click OK, and then you click it once again. And then you click it another time, and then a third time, and then a fourth time, until it lets you in or we go to the very last world. Let me show you an example of that. You know, for some reason, Woodlands is actually quite a filled up server. Compared to everything else, for some reason, Woodland does have a lot of people playing in it. But you click and connect to Animali and you're like, okay, we've logged into Prodigy. Now time to do our daily thing. Some, it seems like I have a quest over here. Let's go and do a battle. And then you go over here and then you're like starting a battle. You go into battle and then guess what happens, right? Most of you guys are probably playing Prodigy on a computer. On a computer. And anyways, you go into battle. You click a question. You click the falling star smash button. And you're like, easy. And you're like, easy, you click it at the speed of light and click enter and you're like, what? I could have sworn I chose eight. <laughs> Is this only me or does this happen to everyone else? You're like, what? No, I chose the other option. What are you doing, prodigy? Is that just me or anyone else? This has to happen to more than one person. And then, right, like you're trying to click it really fast because you don't want to spend time doing math questions. But to be honest, you're still going to be ending up solving them. Okay, and then you're like, that's quite nice indeed. Hum, hum, hum. And then you end up on a situation like this, where your opponent somehow manages to survive by the slightest sliver of health. And now you're like, seriously, dude? You were about to die. Why couldn't you just die? Now I have to cast another spell to kill you. That happens, it's quite infuriating, but that's not all. That is not the entirety of the Prodigy experience. Let me tell you what's gonna go on quite a bit, right? So you get that, you open the chest, and you get that powerful, okay, that's nice, our opponent is finally defeated, we finally won the battle, and now we can move on. Anyways, now that we're going through this, let me just quickly click at the speed of light. And when you're clicking at the speed of light, you end up on this, you accidentally click on it, and then Paj will play your member video. But anyways, you end up on the chest, and what you guys can see is like, you're okay, that's nice, let's go into another battle, right? Like, you try sneaking past your opponent, like, okay, let's try sneaking past your opponent. And then you end up in a battle. That happens to nearly everyone. You try sneaking by, and boom shakalaka, it's a battle. Right, so you're going around the world of Prodigy, and then you end up on a numerical question. Now, what, what do you mean by numerical question? I mean, it's a question with a god. It's a question. It's a question which has numbers in it. That's what a numerical question is like. You have to type in the numbers. I guess you could say this is somewhat like a miniature rant on Prodigy. But yeah, please do hit that subscribe button and... But yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. I'll be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. In this video, I'm about to tell you what the valuable and pet in Podgy is. Yes, you heard that right, what valuable and pet in Podgy is. Alright guys, so this is one Dr. Genius and let's get on to the video. But if you look at our pet book, you guys can see we have approximately one and a half hundred.
or 160 pets. But first, let's start off with some valuable in pets. Now, you guys know pets depend on a few things. They have their status, which basically tells you how much damage they can do, how much health they have. Well, as you know, pets which can deal a lot of damage are quite valuable in Prodigy because you can knock out your opponents quickly, even in the normal world. Pets with medium health, such as the... what do you call it? Pets which have medium health, such as the Neeks, Callers, and Creators over here, you guys can see their statuses are 50-50. These pets are even. These pets are sometimes good, because they can stand multiple attacks from enemy wizards if you're doing an arena battle, like giving these guys a health rune might make them survive longer. Alright, so you guys can see these guys are also pretty well. Pets like these, who have like a higher attack to hearts ratio, are pretty good. Now, pets like the Clip Clop are good because they have a high power. But do you know what pets aren't exactly the best? Because in the Prodigy world, what you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna be battling people, right? And when you're battling people in the Prodigy world, what you need is you need pets which can do damage so you can continue on with their quest faster. Right? Like, if you have a fire pet which can deal an insane amount of damage and a fire pet which does basically like 3000 damage and instead has like 90, 20,000, 12,000 health. Well, I mean, I guess it's good, but seriously, the damage is way too low because other fire pets like the Ember Shed could deal 4,000 upwards to 5,000 and so can your wizard. So obviously, pets like these, I'm gonna rank them higher than normal. Now, you guys can see most of the pets over here are quite good including the keepers. The keepers are actually pretty good if you want to start off with them. And you guys can see there are a lot of other pets, but one pet takes the cake. And that is the Shiver Tusk. Wait, what? That is the Shiver Tusk. Okay. So as you guys can see, it seems like that the Shiver Tusk's power to heart ratio seems to be higher than the other pets, meaning it would have less health. Well, let me tell you, a level 100 Shiver Tusk has around 12,000... Wait, 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 wait. I just realized. I was going to say the Shiver Tusk is the worst pet, but it seems like it's not. It does... A little bit of damage it has about 12,000 hearts at level 100 so it doesn't seem to do too bad I guess maybe against electric it might do three maybe four thousand damage by accident but other than that in other areas it might do two thousand three thousand doesn't look too bad you guys can see they made the shower tusk a little bit decent like you guys can see it's pretty good so yeah guys that's basically my opinion on what valuable and pet in Podgy is, right? In this video, I'm about to tell you what the pretty good pet in Podgy is. Now we have ourselves the mythical epics. Most of them are pretty good, except Big Hex is eh. Flora Fox is actually pretty... I'd say Flora Fox would be a decent choice. Arcturus is also a decent choice. I don't think... Dive Dial is also a decent choice. My Mischief is definitely a decent choice. A very good choice. It seems to be a 90 to 10 power ratio. This guy is strong. So the Shiver Tusk is not the worst. But you guys can see other pets like Eclipse and Shiver Tusk I'd rank on the same level. Luma would be on the same level as an Ember Shed, I do believe. Titus is... Um, nah. You guys can see, really, all of the pet's power rating is over here. It seems like that Blast Star, yeah, that explains why his attacks feel weak. Meg Mayhem, on the other hand, is on, well, Meg Mischief level, Shiver, and Char are on the same level as their counterparts. So you guys can see, all of the pets over here are actually quite helpful. Most of them are quite decent. 